Necessary items. String kit. Pair of scissors. Go get that. Lighter. We gotta burn the ends of the strings to make sure they don't fray. And now uh, once you get all this together, put this pause and come on back and then we're gonna start the process. Step one, wetting your mesh. Alright, so grab your mesh, move to the bathroom. As you can see, here I am. That's where I spend many a lovely moment. You can imagine what I'm doing over there. Or not. But anyway, grab your mesh, move to the bathroom. This is an unnecessary step. I just like to do it because it stretches the mesh out to its maximum length width so you won't have to worry about your pocket getting any deeper than that. So we're going to turn this on. I like to use warm water. Screw you soap. So I already heated this water up. So we're just going to douse it in there. Just get it in there nice and good. Mm, cover that nice and deep black. You don't want to leave any edges or corners. You just want to get it all covered. If the water gets too hot, don't be a wuss. Just tough it out. You're lax bros, so you should be able to deal with that pain. You get hit with deep holes all the time. So you got that wet, and we're going to move back to our stringing station. Alright, and we're back. So now we got this mesh right here. So what I want you guys to do, I got hands free right now, so the camera won't be moving. So I just want you to stretch it out. And if you break it, like I just did, it's what it felt like. You just keep stretching it, just keep stretching it. Stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. For me, it just kind of helps with finding the holes. You don't need to do this, like I said. But you just got to find the holes. So stretch it out. Give it, use all your muscles. Alright guys, so now what we need to do is pick a side of the mesh to start from. If you have a side that has nine diamonds, that's the side I want to start you from. If you'll notice, the top of this one has ten diamonds. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next row down, which is the second row. And we're going to fold that over. So that way we're, we're going to... I'll, I'll explain what, we, what, what that does, but just, just fold that over. And that way you'll be able to look straight through the holes. You notice there's two layers, but we're looking straight, straight down. through, but there's two layers. And the reason for that is because the top portion of the head will receive a lot of punishment so you want to make sure that's nice and strong and by doubling that up you're doubling the strength of the top and another reason is it will allow the head to kind of resist being pushed downwards but just so any newbies out there we're starting up here starting with the top so now what we need to do is decide which string we want to use it's really up to you but you'll, what you need to know is if you use the thicker nylon, which is this nylon right here, you can see how it's a little thicker than this stuff. Use the thick nylon for the top lip. You will have to use the thinner nylon on the sidewall unless you want to have different size sidewall nylon, which, in my opinion, is kind of ugly. So I like to go with the thick nylon on the top, so that's what I'm going to go with. And plus, that way you'll have some nice thick string left over and that way you'll be able to use it later but anyway so here we go we're, t we're taking the we got our first boom 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 big thick string and so now I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a hitch knot alright so we're gonna start with the hitch knot like I said but I wanna tell you I personally like to start with this top left hole right here and that's where I'm gonna start show you so follow along if you want doesn't matter you can start over here with this hole but for me, I've been stringing since I was a youth in third grade, so I am going to start with this, this hole right here like I always have. It's just a, it's just a habit I have. So I'm going to put that there so you can look at that if you want. But I'm going to bring this in front now. So this is, will be the top of our mesh because this is the flat portion, and you don't want to have this flapping around in there. But, so this is the back portion of the mesh. So, you're gonna, so this is the top. So flip it over. We're going to start over here. Alright, I've been trying to watch the screen, but it's screwing me up too much. So here we are. I'm just going to try to keep it on screen. If I mess up, message me later. I'll try to fix it. But So now, here we are. This is the top of the mesh, bottom of the mesh with the flap. You're going to take this string, feed it right through there. So you can see how I have it looped through the first loop. Just stuck it through. Boop, boop, boop. 
So you take that, you want to take the other end of the nylon and feed that through your top hole. I'm starting with the top left, doesn't matter which side you start with. Personal preference, just for me, because I've been doing this for a long time. So you're going to take that, don't worry about the mesh, you can just sit down there for now, that's fine. So, take this, this small portion of the nylon and wrap that around the back. You see how I have that right there? So you're going to wrap that around, and this is called a hitch knot. Around again, and just for kicks, no, this is how it is, for one more time. So you can see how I have that double loop going there. Double loop, one, two, one, two, and that's just a loop-de-loop. -loop. And then you're going to take this end and feed that back through. And the reason this is called a hitch knot is once you get that tied off there, you got to tighten each string, pull that down, like that, pull that from that side, pull that from that side, so you'll see how that is kind of like a, it looks like almost like a tie, like a tie knot. So it's got nice and tight, and you'll see that I'm able to boop, hitch it. That's why it's a hitch knot, because you're able to, t you, it starts loose, and you can, you can pull it back out, you can loosen up, you can tighten it up, whatever you want to do to it. So then that's what you got the hitch knot for, boom hitched up. Replay that if you want to and we're going to move on to the next step.